Hi, this is Asin. You are now watching Asin Math TV. Today, I would like to share how to construct a frequency polygon for a frequency distribution obtained from a set of raw data. We must first get to know what are the minimum and the maximum values. Instead of analyzing the data, we can click on Transform, look for Visual Binning, move the variable to variables to pin. Click on continue and we should now be able to check for the values. I'm going to take 140 to 200. Click on cancel and proceed to transform the raw data to group. Click on transform. Look for recode into different variables. Move the variable to input variable. Rename. Remember, shouldn't use space when we name. I'm going to use simply x. For the labor, I will type midpoint since this is frequency polygon. Click on change, click on all and new values. I'm going to use range. Start from the minimum value. If we want to use a class width of 10, and this is continuous case, by right we should use 150 as the class boundary. However, we should Remember that this is less than cumulative, which means that we should take a number that is slightly smaller than this. We should take one decimal place more than the data set. So which means that we should take 149.9. And the midpoint should be 145. At next, we should have 1502, 159.9, midpoint 155. At Next, 1602, 169.9, midpoint 165. At next, we have 1702, 179.9, midpoint 175. At next, 1802189.9. 185 at next 1902199.9 and the big point 195 at click on continue click on ok and we should obtain a new set of data all we have to do next is we can also change the format go to variable view Decrease the decimals to zero. And we should now be able to construct the frequency polygon. Click on graphs. Look for legacy dialog. Click on line. Click on simple. Click on define. Move the variable of interest to category asset. And this is using n of cases, which is frequency we shouldn't use come and which is cumulative frequency what we want here is frequency polygon so we should use n of cases click on titles and name the chart if you think that the name is too long we can make use of the second line click on continue and click on ok and we should obtain the frequency polygon that we want However, as we can see, this is slightly different from what we usually draw, where we always start from zero and end at zero. To overcome this issue, we can double click on the chart and we add labels. All we have to do next is transfer all these labels to data view. We have 27 of them with midpoint 145. Transfer to the data view 286 with midpoint 155 transfer and so for the rest of the data what we have to do next is start from zero and end at zeros which means that we should add one class before the minimum value and one class after the maximum midpoint in order to make sure that SPAS will draw starting from zero we should give a number which is near to zero but not zero because by default SPS will ignore zero so we give a number that is small enough but not zero give a number small enough but not 
zero. And now proceed to draw. Before that, remember to weight cases. Weight by frequency. Click on OK, and we should now able to draw. Graphs, legacy dialogues, line, simple, define, reset, move the new variable to category as it, click on titles to add name. Continue, OK, and we should now be able to obtain the correct frequency polygon. If you want to change the design, again, double click on the chart. Double click on the Y asset values and we should now change the scale. We can change the scale with no lower margin. Means that we change to zero. Click on OK, apply, and we should now start from zero and end at zero. Okay, that's all for this video. Thanks for watching. Have a like this. See you.